Ag September is Peripheral Artery Disease Awareness Month, and that's what we're talking about in today's Ask the Doctor segment. Segment, and Dr. Robert Heidi Prem is a surgeon with Birmingham Vascular Associates, and he is here to answer your questions. Thanks for being with us today. Well, thank you, Claire. Thanks for having me here. I'm going to get my earpiece situated here so I can make sure that we can hear if we have some callers. But in the meantime, sort of explain what this is. Well, peripheral vascular disease is a, a disease that affects about 12 to 18 million people in this country, um, and it's hardening of the arteries uh, as we age. It's related to certain things like diabetes has a, a role in it, smoking has a role in it, hypertension and high cholesterol uh, plays a role in it. And it basically uh, it can affect any major blood vessel in your body. Um, there's a correlation with peripheral vascular disease which mainly is correlated with the legs. But if you have PAD in your legs, you can have a higher risk of heart disease associated with that as well. And hardening of the arteries can occur in any vascular bed in your body. It can affect mm -hmm. your kidneys, it can affect the vessels to your intestines, your legs, the vessels to your neck, even your coronary uh, disease process. So it can as well. impact a lot. It can. All right, we do have our first caller, Janet from Holly Pond. Good afternoon, Janet. Hi, how are you? Good. Doing great. How are you? I'm good. What is your question? Uh, my question is, it uh, doesn't happen all the time, but it, it's happening more and more lately. When I go to bed and then when I wake up, or when I lie down and take a nap and I wake up, my hands and my feet are, are cold and they're tingly. Is that got anything to do with what you're talking about today? It may. It, it, you may have. There's two types of peripheral vascular disease. There's an organic cause of peripheral vascular disease, which means hardening of the arteries uh, with, from cholesterol. Um, build up in the arteries or you can have a functional aspect that's related to stress uh, certain chemicals uh, can uh, drugs can uh, make you have spasm of the vessels um, that would uh, cause problems that you're talking about so you need to have somebody as a primary physician look at you and work that aspect up for you as a I'm sure that can be scary when you wake up and, and, and your hands and feet are cold so definitely want to get yes. that checked out our next caller is Cindy in Gardendale good afternoon Cindy Hey, how are you? Doing great. How about you? Just fine. All right. What is your question for our doctor today? Uh, my question is, what is the major cause of heart palpitations from different times? I mean, it doesn't happen all the time. Well, mostly what I deal with is leg vessels and so forth. That is something that a cardiologist would have to work you up for, but it could be related to having coronary artery disease, which is hardening of the arteries of your blood vessels that affect uh, how much blood you get to the muscle. Um, and that needs to be worked up further by a cardiologist. Okay, and that can be very serious as well, so um, definitely want to get that checked out. Um, so is there anything that we can do to prevent some of this? Is it mostly hereditary or is it diet, exercise, lifestyle? Well, it, it, it's a combination of all those. Mm -hmm. um, basically, uh, PAD, peripheral vascular disease, is related to smoking, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, diabetes. Um, obesity plays a part in it too. So mm -hmm. the things that we do to treat that are to start off with is medical management. Uh, we try to uh, manage the uh, um, diabetes, mm -hmm. make sure their blood, uh, blood sugars are under control, make sure their hypertension is under control, place patients on statins for their uh, cholesterol, which is a drug that treats cholesterol, and even an aspirin, an antiplatelet medication to, so they won't clot uh, set won't have clots set up in their arteries if they have a problem so mm -hmm. exercise is always good too so those right. are some of the medical things that we start out with initially and then you can progress further with treatment if, if necessary correct are there any surgeries that can that, that can help with this well Does it result to that typically yes it can lead to that especially when patients have sores on their legs that don't heal um, and they, we've done all the appropriate workup and we find that they've got blockage in their legs, we can do a procedure called an angioplasty through an art arteriogram essentially where we balloon the artery and stretch it open and make more blood flow go through it and sometimes we have to put a stent in it to keep it open. Um, that's done percutaneously where we don't have to make an incision in the leg and we, that's the whole goal is to try not to make an incision in the leg and do what was a standard bypass that we've done in the past. And there's new technology out there that uh, recently has come into Birmingham that is being used where we have an image ultrasound guided atherectomy catheter where we take it 
and it's a catheter that we can cut the plaque out of the artery, but we see all three layers of the wall and we protect those and we're just specifically cutting out the cholesterol plaque that has built up and we reopen the artery to wow. reestablish blood flow. And it saves people from having to have bypass wow. and it especially helps save people's limbs so they don't end up having an amputation if they've got really bad problems with their circulation. That is huge. Now if our viewers have any questions about any of this new technology um, and new procedures or want to get in touch with you, how can they reach you? They can just call my office at Birmingham Vascular um, anytime they want to and we'll get in touch with them. All right, Dr. Heidi Preen, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you very much. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Follow us on Twitter.